Hello, boys and girls. I hope you're having a good day. We're going to sing our good morning song. Good morning, hello to Cassian. Good morning, hello to Jesse. Good morning, hello to Maddie. I hope you're having a real good day. Good morning, hello to Sawyer. Good morning, hello to Annabelle. Good morning, hello to Lucas. I hope you're having a real good day. Good morning, hello to Colson. Good morning, hello to Elijah. Good morning, hello to Zane. I hope you're having a real good day. Good morning, hello to Noah. I hope you're having a real good day. So before we start today, we have a special person that we need to say happy birthday to. Elijah had his birthday on Saturday and he is three years old. So we're going to sing to him and I hope you can join me at home. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Elijah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, buddy. I hope you had a real good day. So today we are going to be reading a book about construction and I know a lot of you really love construction. So I hope you enjoy this book if you haven't heard it before. It is called Dig Dogs Dig. And these dogs are going to be construction workers. It's a pretty fun book. I think dogs would be good at doing construction. They do like to dig a lot. Wake up dogs, you're going to be late. The sun is up, there's no time to wait. Grab your gloves, hard hats and boots, shovels, goggles and dirt digging suits. Eat some breakfast on the go. Quickly now, you're moving too slow. Hop in your trucks, there's work to be done. Get to the job site, run dogs, run. Down the road and over the hill, driving big trucks takes plenty of skill. Around the corner and through the pass, stop at the station to fill up with gas. Okay dogs, we're at the site. There's lots to do before it's night. Start up the loader, dump truck, and grader. Bulldozer, backhoe, and excavator. The excavator digs deep with its scoop, pulling up dirt with a swish and a swoop. Push and plow and clear the way. The bulldozer makes it look easy each day. The loader picks up a rocky big bite and moves out the rubble with all its might. Hauling away dirt and sand, gravel and rock, the big strong dump truck works round the clock. There's trouble in the pit, we've hit something big. Get down to the hole and dig, dogs, dig. Down in the pit, there's some busting to do with hammers, a pick, and a rock splitter too. A job like this calls for a crane with its winch and its hook and its long, heavy chain. It's a dinosaur fossil, a huge T-Rex bone with a tug it breaks loose from its prehistoric home. Now get back to work, get back to your crew. Hurry up dogs, there's more work to do. The graders perform their dance-like maneuvers as the ground is made smooth by these heavy earth movers. The cement mixer spins as the concrete pours, but there's no time to waste. We're going to need more. Sand gravel blocks and some four by four sticks. The forklift comes over to pick up the bricks. Building has started. Here comes more big trucks hauling plants and trees and even some ducks. More equipment arrives, unload it with care. Check it, unpack it and stack it right there. Clear way for the flatbed, clear the way, let him pass. He's hauling our trees and 10 acres of grass. More dogs arrive with ratchets and wrenches, building fountains and fences, bathrooms and benches. Unpack the boxes, follow directions. Make sure it's built right so it passes inspection. Grab the hose, fill the hole until it is brimming and let loose the ducks for some synchronized swimming. Everything's finished, what a day this has been. 
Now open the gates and let everyone in. The workday is over. It's now almost dark. We have just enough, enough time to enjoy our new park. Great work, crew. It's a place all your own. There's even a spot for that dinosaur bone. This job is complete. We've built something new. Tomorrow we'll find a new job to do. And there all the dogs are. They had such a busy day. Well, there's so many fun things that you can do with construction. And I hope while you're at home, you are building and digging outside and playing with your trucks. I have just one idea to share with you today. <clears throat> so something that you could do, I have this blue blanket and we're gonna pretend that this is a river. And you can use anything at home to pretend that you're making a river. And I also have this elephant and this elephant needs to cross the river. So I, he doesn't wanna swim either. So I need to build him a bridge. So with some things at your house, they could be blocks or Legos or bricks. I'm using cups. Your job is to see if you can make a bridge to get your animals or dolls or anything to cross the river. So I'm gonna try making a little bridge for my elephant to cross, uh-oh gonna have to be really careful. Do you think he can jump over there? I don't know. I really wish I had some paper to set down on my cups. I think that maybe I will get some of that next and I can lay that down and then the elephant can walk more easily because right now he's gonna have to take a big hop, isn't he? Just like this. But I hope that you can make some super fun bridges for some of your animals at home and I will see you again real soon. Bye.